doing? Good, how are you? Good. Just pop your bag and coat over there. So grab a seat. Yep. So last time we were working on the movement of your neck. Mm -hmm. Tell me how that's been going. Um, it feels like I have a lot more movement. I like to describe functional integration as integrating more of the body for improved function. Just through the touch, we can invite the body to change in the way it behaves. I was diagnosed with arthritis when I was 12 years old. Um, so going from being quite athletic, um, you know, doing gymnastics and basketball and whatnot, uh, to basically not really being, being able to move my body anymore. And what I'll do is just get a sense of what your movement is like. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good actually, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Uh, I was getting a lot of pain in my neck and my shoulders and upper back, um, as well as my hands and um, sometimes my wrists. Just want to feel what your back is like. That's changing. Can you feel that change? Yeah, yeah. definitely. We can examine what people's habitual ways of moving are and invite non-habitual patterns of movement. For example, we might work with them lying on the table, giving them a functional integration lesson, and we'll bring them up to sit. We won't correct their posture, but they'll be sitting in a completely different way, because their body will make the adaptation itself. So what I'll get you to do as a little take-home practice is um, when, while you're sitting, I'll just take a hold of your hands just to show you. I haven't needed to get a massage in months and I used to have to get them at least once or twice a week. So it's dramatically changed my life. I like to say Feldenkrais is not really like a workout, it's more like a wake up. Just less tense, no pain, um, and just feel good, really. I feel like actually for the first time, I'm in control. I think for every musician, uh, uh, there's the problem that if you exercise one part of your body, you might neglect another. So the awareness of your body is just essential for a musician. And a lot of younger students, for example, don't have that awareness. They work very, very hard and do themselves a lot of damage. The Feldenkrais method can help anybody d develop, get more awareness and control of the body. Musicians, for instance. They spend hours and hours trying to get control of an instrument. But the real instrument is their body. Now, could you consider the middle of your body? Where is the middle of your body from the top down and place a finger there? Okay, so it's at the back. So if you actually develop a fine awareness and control of your body, if you learn to be able to move smoothly, then that can be transferred easily to a skill, whether it's playing the piano, whether it's running, whether it's weightlifting. It all details with learning to sense what's going on with your body and to be able to adapt it and modify it and to feel the differences. There's all kinds of things that can go wrong with your physique. And, you know, it's good to have a discipline like Feldenkrais that can actually help uh, modifying your behaviour in that way, really. So some people may have a condition that they're born with, which means that they don't uh, have capacity to move themselves around in the way that they wish. So Itai has cerebral palsy, which affected four of his limbs, both hands and both legs, and his whole body. When I first met him, he did not have the capacity to hold himself upright, to lift his head to look at his family, to make eye contact, <laughs> or even to smile. <laughs> When we tried Feldenkrais with the tie, 
Within two, three months, there was a jump in his awareness of his body. Through bringing that person's awareness, either through touch or through verbal direction, two different ways of moving, the brain can fire differently, can rewire differently, so that he is now more and more able to lift himself and engage with the world in a different way, and it makes him so happy. Since Itai started the therapy, Feldenkrais therapy, he's done amazing. He's more aware of himself and his own body and him in the body. He's obviously stronger, his hands are less spastic, they're more relaxed, and he loves it.